I'm going to be showing you how to draft and sew a corset with velvet. How to transfer from pattern paper to fabric. Hello and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amazing Grace Daniel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do well to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So I'm starting with my basic bodies and first my shoulder measurement. So I'm going to draw a straight line there to define where I'll start my shoulder. Then I'm going to take seven and a half inches, which is actually my shoulder measurement for this particular corset. And then I'm going to go straight down by one inch, okay? And then I'm going to now take three inches and then place a dot there at three inches, then take a ruler and connect the two dots as the dot between the three inches and the one inch. And I'm going to take my half length measurement. So my half length between my top body to my bust line is nine and and then on that bust is 12. Then my full length is 17. I'm taking that as my waist measurement, okay? So just placing a dot there, okay? Then I'm going to draw out the lines on all the half lengths there. So after reeling all the lines, the next thing I'm doing is to take my armhole measurement, which is seven inches for this one. And I mark, put a point at seven inches there, then draw a line out, okay? I'm drawing a line out there. Then go ahead to liberally chest line, bust line, and then I have my under bust line and my waist, okay? So I'm just labeling them. I'm going to go ahead and connect the armhole. To create a cover at the armhole, I'm going to take half of the armhole, which is three and a half inches. I'm going to create a dot at three and a half, okay? And then I'm going to come down to the chest line area and take my bust measurement, which is nine. Then I'm going to come back by one inch from the three and a half and mark a dot there at one inch. Then I'm going to now create a curve from the top of the shoulder to that one inch I created from the three and a half and then connect it right down to my the bust line measurement I took on the chest line. Then I'm going to come to my under bust and take my dart. So my dart is four plus half, that's four and a half inches. I mark a dot there down to my waist, the same four plus half inch, that's four and a half inch there. Then I'm going to get a ruler and connect it together. So I'm going to go ahead and take half inch on the dart line, half inch on both sides, that's one inch. I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of that, the dart line I created there. So I'm going to put half inch on this side and then half inch on the other side. Just mark a dot there and then connect the dot to the underbust line, okay? Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my body's measurement. Year is nine, year is eight, that is 32. And then year, which is nine, is 36. I'm going to add one inch to it, so nine plus one inch, okay? Yeah, I also, the um, underbust, I took eight plus one inch, okay? So you can see eight plus one inch, and then the waist is seven inches, so I took seven inches, and then don't forget that I took one inch here, okay? Then I'm going to add that one inch as well, okay? I mark the dot there, and equally take another one inch again for allowance. I'm going to now go ahead and connect all of them together, okay? And then connect the allowance area together as well. I'm now going to go back to the curve line at the armhole and just stretch it a bit to where my allowance is. Now, before drawing out my cup, I'm going to go ahead and take half inch at the bust point area, okay, half inch here, and mark it half inch here, okay. You can see I just dotted it there and then connected it together at the bust point and the under bust. 
Now to draw out the cup line, you place it directly on top of the under bust. Make sure it's at the under bust point and by the half inch point that we had drawn out. And then you use your marker and then you just have it out with your marker. Just draw out the line with your marker like this. You draw the short line at the beginning of your cup there, and then you equally do the same for the other side on the bust point area, and just draw the line out like so. Then you take out the cup and now cut it out, okay? So I'm just going to cut out this area that we carved out like this. We're not going to need in the top unless you want to use it for a yoke. So you just this down part here, we're carving out like this, okay? So you can see this is the result of what it looks like and this is where your cup is supposed to be sitting on okay so this is the pattern for the front okay and this is what it looks like now we're going to go ahead to do the pattern for the back now for the pattern of the back is very very easy i'm just going to draw the same line where i drew it for the front now i'm going to place it just directly on top of it okay then i'm going to take a zip allowance of one and a half inch yes one and a half inch here then i'm going to just mark the point of one and a half inch okay Then I'm going to now connect it with my ruler. Then I'm going to take the front part and place it on top of the part I've ruled out. And then I'm going to now mark out as in draw out with the ruler, my ruler, draw out the front on it. Just draw out the same pattern on it. Very easy and very simple. So once I'm done ruling it, I'm going to take it out and you can, and then I'm just going to connect that line there at the end and then label it zip allowance here. It's for the zip allowance area, okay? This is actually what your pattern for the back should look like, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead, all right, and then carve it out. I'm just going to try to make sure everything is just exactly the way it should be. So now I'm going to go ahead and carve it out. So once you're done carving the both of them out, this is what they should look like, the front and the back. And then when you have to now use this to transfer to your velvet. To transfer to your velvet, you need to use stay as well, air stay, hot stay, or cloth stay. So this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead to create the dart line on the back so i'm going to be doing the same thing taking four plus half inch okay from the zip line for the back is that four plus half that's four and a half for both the down and the top okay just the same way i did for the front then i'm going to go ahead and connect it with a ruler next thing is i take half inch on the waist region of the dart line, just half inch, just the same way I did the front, half inch, and then connect it from the top. Okay, now I'm connecting this one from the top. Okay, that's from the chest line area. Not unlike the front that I connected from the bust line. So this one is directly from the top, okay? And this is the area that I created the dart on. So this is what the boots of them look like. I'm going to transfer it to my fabric. This is the velvet I'm using, and I'm going to be cutting it on the stay, and then using it and gumming on the velvet. So this is what it now looks like. I folded it, as I used the pattern paper, folded it, and then carved it out the front, and then did the same thing to the back. So I just folded it into two. So this is the pattern paper, the velvet, and the lining for the front, the pattern paper for the back, velvet for the back, and lining for the back. So it's very simple, I just fold it into two. This is me opening it up. This is what it looks like after opening it up. You can see, this is just, it. This up. I'm opening the lining now to show you the same thing I did here. So I'm going to go ahead and create the dart line that I created on the um, pattern paper on the velvet, just the same thing. I'm going to use my chalk to do that. So I'm going to take the same font plus half inch for the dart line here, okay, and I'm going to mark it with chalk and then do the same thing at the top and then mark it with chalk 
and then connect the dots to get a ruler. Then I'm going to take the half inch on both sides down at the waist region here, the way I took the half inch on the pattern paper. I'm just going to take the half inch here and then mark it down here with chalk and then use the ruler to connect it. So once I'm done, I'm going to turn it over to the other side. Remember there are two sides and then do the same thing, taking four plus half inch, connecting with my ruler and then connect it, the half half inch on both sides with the ruler as well. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my back. Okay, just exactly the same way we did it for the pattern paper on the back. Okay, so this is the result. And in case you didn't understand, um, for the back, I took my zipper allowance area, which is one and a half inch here, okay, one and a half inch, and drew a rule there, and then took four and a half inch, four plus half inch at this point, and draw a line down straight, and then took in my ruler to connect this dot line, that is the half half inch dot line at the waist region. The next thing I'm going to use to show out this dot line inside. So this is the result after sewing both the front and the back, back that line. This is what they look like. Let me just take this front to show you what it looks like. These are the dark lines here, if you can see it. Let me bring it closer. You can see that line here. I sewed it in. Okay, that part there, I just sewed it in to give it a bit of shape there. I also did the dark line shaping for my lining as well. Okay, the same thing you did for this one is the same you do for the lining. The next thing you do is to prep your cup, okay? Now to prep your cup, I already have a video of this on this channel. I'm going to put the link of it in the description box and in the comment section. Um, I didn't want this video to be too long, so I created another video for it. So you can go and check that video out and click, click the link in the comment section to see it. So this is now what the cup looks like after covering it. Like I said, the link will be in the description box. The next thing you do is to place your cups Okay, see how it looks like after covering it on the fabric area. This is where you're going to sew it to, okay? But before doing that, I want to cover the cup. I want to add a design to it, okay? So I'm going to be using gold um, bias, not regular bias, designed gold bias. I'm going to now be placing it somewhat like this. Then just as in grommet on it, you can sew it anyway. So I'm going to pin it first. You can see I've pinned it here. I've cut out the edges and pinned it here like this. Then I'm now going to go ahead and now gum it to it, okay? So I've gummed it finally and sewed the edge together. So you can see the area gummed out. And this is what it looks like. This is the result, what it looks like. Let me take it further. This is what it looks like on the corset, okay? So the next thing you want to do is to sew. But before you sew, I'm going to add in the go bias here and here, okay? So I'm going to add the go bias like this, like this in the middle, and like this on the other side of the dart, okay? I'm going to go ahead and sew this, and this is what it now looks like, very flat. I sewed it with that tiny thread on the sewing machine, okay? Those very tiny thread line on the sewing machine. I'm using a manual machine. I'll show you what it looks like on the machine. It's, the thread line is almost invisible. You can't see it, no matter how close you come to it. So let me show you what it looks like on the sewing machine. So you take it up, okay? You can see you take it up here instead of at the very end. Then we want to cross stitch it. You take it up again and then bring it down a bit if you want to cross stitch it or back stitch it. Okay, so it gives you that very tiny line on your sewing machine. So next, I'm going to go ahead and add in my lining, okay, and sew my lining. I'm going to be interfacing it. That's sewing like this, but I'm going to interface it to sew just on the top area. I'm only sewing it on the top area, okay, so I'm going to sew on the top area and interface it. I'm not going to sew the cup area, okay? I'm not sewing the cup area, just the top area. This is the area I mean, this top, just these three tops here, these are the areas I mean that I'm going to sew. So I just sewed it, and as you can see, okay, just turned it over 
Then I'm going to go ahead and top stitch it to be flat. Then I've top stitched it and ironed it. You can see how flat it looks. Okay, this is where you now sew your cup on. You sew your cup here like this on the both sides. This one here, you sew it here, you sew this other one. And yes, yeah, this is the result. I have sewn it to it. Okay, I've sewn the, um, the cup to the um, down part of the uh, velvet. So this is what yours should look like. I'm going to go ahead and add this um, gold design around the cup area, okay? Because it's, I want to give it a volume there, I'm just going to sew it on the ends, like on the down part of it first before sewing on the top. So I'm going to first of all pin it to make it easy for me to sew, all right? I'm going to pin it first. Then I've gone ahead to pin it. You can see I've pinned it here. And these are the place, this is the place I'm going to sew first before sewing the other side. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've gone ahead to sew and I'm going to now bend it to sew the other side. Let's bend it to give it some form of volume so that it can look good on the other side. All right, so this is now what it looks like after sewing it here. This other one, I've sewn it, but I haven't bent the edges. So you just bend the edge inside here and gum it, okay? And then you see the beauty. So this is the volume I'm talking about that I bent so that it has some form of volume there. I bent it and then sewed that angle. So this is what your velvet looks like. I'm going to go ahead, add my boning to it, add my boning here. So I'm just going to sew this area again with the small thread. Sew it under, you see it here on the lining. So I'm just going to put the boning inside, like inside this piece here. This is where I'm putting the boning, okay? So when you're done putting the boning, you just cut it off and then sew it. Then do the same thing for the other dart line. The next thing is to finish up with the back. For the back, we have to cut it into two because of the zipper allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the velvet and that of the lining as well. Then go ahead to interface it by sewing it, the lining and the velvet together. Okay, I just need to interface and sew it. All right, this is now what it will now look like. You can see I've interfaced it, I've sewn it. This is what it looks like. All I have to do now is to add it to the front. You can decide to add the bias to the dart before adding it to the front, but I won't be doing that. So after adding it to the front, this is what it now looks like, okay? We are done, okay? This is the back, this is the front. This is what the back looks like, okay? You can see how it looks like. This is the zip allowance area that I folded in. I on that part and folded it in, okay? And then we are good to go. Just add it to the rest of your dress and your velvet corset is ready. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button, click the like button, and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.